Hi everybody, my name is Melina. Welcome to my video. Today's video is part one of five where I discuss my top five tips for getting your bookkeeping organized. This could be for new businesses just starting out or businesses that are already established and just want to revisit their bookkeeping methods. Today's video is discussing what expense receipts and other bookkeeping documents to keep for your business. I have these broken into five categories. The first category is expenses. The second category is revenue documents. Then there's CRA documents or government documents, payroll documents, and then other documents. Category one, expenses. I have broken expenses into three subcategories. The first subcategory is direct expenses related to your product or service that you deliver. In accounting terms, this would be cost of goods sold, but if you don't want accounting terms, let's just stick to direct costs. For example, a construction company, their direct costs would be hammers, nails, other equipment. Um, let's say they're renovating a kitchen. It would be the kitchen cabinets, subcontractors who would do the tiling, other subcontractors to take care of the other areas, any employees they have to hire the labor. Sometimes there can be gray areas in what a direct cost is. For example, some business owners will make tutorials similar to this style. They will want to write off their gym memberships because they believe their physical appearance adds to the quality of their video. Some bookkeepers and accountants will be okay with that. Some bookkeepers and accountants will question it. It really depends. So if you have expenses where there's a gray area, keep them aside and address, address them with a professional. The second subcategory are general expenses. Accounting terms, it would be called operating expenses. If you don't want to use accounting terms, let's stick with general expenses. These expenses are related to the overall running of your business. That could be continuing education, computer expenses, marketing expenses, telephone expenses, and other general business expenses. These are not directly related to the product or service you provide. The third subcategory are home office expenses. If you work from home, you can claim part of your home expenses for your business. This would include rent, mortgage, strata fees, your utility bills, telephone bills, and even a personal vehicle if you use it for work. Category number two, revenue documents. Revenue documents can include customer client contracts, non-disclosure agreements, non-compete agreements, invoices you send to your customer clients. This is if you don't keep them in, in an accounting software, and invoice payments. This can be check stubs, bank transfers, and any other form of payment you receive. Now, don't print these off if you have them online. We can discuss that in another video. Category number three, CRA documents, which is Canada Revenue Agency, or government documents. This can include your business number assigned by the CRA, if you have a GST number, any documents related around that. If you have a payroll number, any documents related around that. Any information on filing deadlines. And any other documents from the government related to your business. We just want to keep them all in one place. Category number four, payroll documents. Payroll documents can include employee contracts, non-disclosure agreements, non-compete agreements, and if you don't track payroll in an accounting system, employee hours, pay stubs, T4 slips, T4 summaries, your monthly payroll remittance documents, and any other documents related to payroll. And the last category, category five, which is other documents. Other documents can include subcontractor agreements, loan documents, WorkSafe Canada documents, bank statements, credit card statements, and any other documents related to your business. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.